The Berthope Games Room. Do you guys remember this place? The Games Room is no doubt the most out of date piece of content that is in old school RuneScape today. With the type of updates today like the Farming Guild, Winter Tot, even the new Agility course, you can see the graphical designs from back then compared to today. Now let's go look into the Games Room history and some interesting finds. The Games Room was introduced on November 24th, 2004 with only two games when it came out. Those two games being Drafts and RuneLink. Drafts being like Checkers, RuneLink being as Connect 4, which is my personal favorite. And then on January 30th, 2006, two more games were added to the games room. RuneVersi and RuneSquares. RuneVersi, the goal is you have to have try to get more of your runes on the board than your opponent. RuneSquares being where you need to try to make a square with lines and cover up most of the board than your opponent. The games room has a ranking system for all the games automatically starting at 1000. When you win a game your rank goes up but if you lose your rank will go down. If your rank gets above 1500 you will be able to go to special rooms for those types of players who have that many points. These rooms are located when you go up the ladder in each of the game rooms. There is a pub in the games room with an NPC named Sam who in my opinion is one of the most forgotten NPCs in game. There's also a news bulletin that served as keeping players updated with changes in the game room. It read, The empty rooms will be used for further expansion. If the game rooms prove popular, then these rooms will be open for other board games such as Slime Wars and Chess. Many people questioned what Slime Wars was going to be since it was never released. I tweeted at our lord and savior Mod Ash asking if he knew what Slime Wars was going to be. He said it would have been played like a tax, an old arcade game from the 1990s. I wish this would have came into the game because I would like to see how Jagex would have turned this classic game into old school graphics. The news board is unable to be read anymore since Jagex said in a 2012 February Q&A, Jagex was no longer making updates to the games room, since it being so outdated compared to the rest of the game. This place has sat empty other than friends in game playing the games once in a while. Going back to the graphical designs of the game room, it looks very much like 2004 RuneScape. The whole place looks like a poorly done RuneScape private server. I believe this is the cause for the game room to sit empty all these years. Nothing graphical in the games room looks like anything in RuneScape today. For example, the doors of the game room is nothing like any other doors in popular locations of the game. Even the RS3 games room looks like today's updated content for OSRS. Now let's look at some interesting finds when I was exploring the games room. One thing I found super cool when I went to the games room and used my detached camera plugin in RuneLight was that there's a cutscene area for the quest Eyes of Gluffrey. Another thing I noticed that there was a patch that looked like Mortmire Swamp near Morantania north of the games room. And then west of that swamp patch lies a cut off house. I believe this is connected to the temple trekking minigame because of the teal patch at the ends. But why are these here? For the cutscene of the quest Eyes of Gluffrey, Jagex usually places cutscenes in areas of the map that you're not really supposed to see, which makes sense. You can tell that there's like a black curtain type thing trying to hide this from players who don't use rune light or detached camera. I mean, it doesn't even match the color black in the background. But I cannot figure out why there's a patch of swamp or part of the temple trekking minigame. I believe these are here for modeling purposes, but everyone likes a good mystery. Leave a comment down below what you think these are used for. I'm beating a dead horse here, but the games room is a thing of the past. But what could Jagex do to make it come back to life? In 2015, they made RuneScape's 3 Birth Ops Games Room free to play, but it's not in old school. This should be also free to play in old school to attract more players. If they added a point system like Castle Wars so people can get outfits or cosmetic items, skillers like myself love Fashionscape. And some of the skillers I know will try to get all the outfits they can. Another idea with cosmetic items is if they release items that look like they're from 2004. Since the games room hasn't been updated graphical wise, I think it would be a great fit. Another idea is adding an official high scores for the games room, either on the official websites or even on the news board in the games room to show who's the top 10 players or so in a certain game. I think that would be pretty cool to see. A little bit of a controversial idea that I've been hearing throughout the years is the ability to stake GP on games. This one can be problematic due to people who can write bot scripts that are amazing at connect forward chess and win every single time. The last idea I have is to add a new game into the games room. Before you comment, I know Jagex already stated they no longer want to update the games room, 
but if they do, there will be a surge of players the first few days of the game being released. And after that, RuneScape friends can go back to the games room and play more games than they already do because it'll be fresh in their minds. The games room may be sat empty for many more years to come. It will always be a nostalgic place for people to come visit the past. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. I've been loving this RuneScape Tales series because I can learn a part of the game that I didn't learn before. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. If you guys have any suggestions, leave it down in the comments. All feedback is much appreciated. Anyways, my name is Snackfood and I'll see you later. Peace.